Born in it, Eddie. Ah. Oh, at last, look who shows a damn face. Hello. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. I just slept on your you sofa, you idiot. Spell? Let this fine town take care of you. What can you tell me about Boone's wife? How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. Oh yeah, I tried she never did take to living here. She That's liked like the big hell. lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. What's wrong with Boone? Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. Uh, we haven't met yet. Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. Oh, no troublemakers here. So, what's with the dino? We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel, and it's mine. So, what's that to do around here? Well, there's Dinky, the town mascot. He's a sight. You probably already saw him when you came in, but you can go up inside, too. Up the roadways to the west, there's Repcon. That's the old rocket factory. There's been some sinister characters out there lately, so you may want to stay clear. Other than that, nothing to do but take it easy and enjoy good company. Yeah, sinister undead characters. Anything else? Well, up north a ways, you'll see a big tower. That's Helios 1. Used to be a power plant in its day. And there's a town just east of here called Nelson. Used to be such a quaint little place until those slavers took it over. But we got our wonderful snipers keeping an eye in that direction, and so far, the slavers have left us alone. Except for Boone's wife. So, what's been going on? Well, let's see. Dusty McBride's been losing some Brahmin, but that's probably the heat more than anything. Honestly, it's been real quiet. Ranger Andy's still hurt, but we got these two gentlemen snipers watching the road day and night, keeping the trash out of Novak. They've been a blessing. Yeah. Where can I get supplies? Go see Cliff Briscoe at the Dino Bite gift shop and tell him I sent you. I think he gets lonely standing around in that dino belly all day. He'll be glad for the company. No, no, I think he's just fine in the dino belly. Tell me more about Repcon. I just know what I've heard. There's supposed to be some ghouls that went in a while back. Ever so often, there'll be a commotion from that direction. Explosions and such. Watch out for strangers! I hope you're f Okay, Mrs. Xenophobic. I would like to rent a room. Well, I think that's a fine idea. I'll give you a good flat rate, and you can stay as long as you like. At least until the busy season comes. Sound good? This place has a busy season? Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm glad you can stay with us. Your room will be the one upstairs, closest to the lobby side. Here's your key. Let me know if there's anything I can do to make your stay better for you. Oh, I don't know, like clean up all the blood stains from the other Watch rooms? Watch out for strangers! Well, she does sound mildly racist. Did nobody here like Boone's wife? Eh. Nah. Screw it. Let's check out our new abode. Hmm. Ew. Oh, Christ. It's weird and stained as well. Hey, it has free booze. Some old clothing. A bathroom full of blood. Free drugs. I guess we can sell those.
a save. Hey, this actually isn't too bad if it, you know, you don't take into account the hideous staining. And a free meal. What more could a man want? Okay, let's enjoy some water and some iguana bits. That gecko steak looks a bit undone. And the water was slightly radiated. Anything we need to throw away. Okay. Let's drop some of this stuff. Seeing as we can now store it and not worry about it being stolen. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, screw it, that'll do. We'll make it more homely later. Come on. Oh. Traveling merchant. Hey there. Need anything? Sure. What you got? Nice to see a merchant who's not been killed. Uh, should we buy 40mm grenades? Nah. More thermonuclear weapons? Where are you guys getting this shit? A tri-beam laser rifle. Nope, too rich for my blood. Oh, actually I can sell hey you there. something. Need anything? Take... This recharger pistol. I don't need it. Um, Like... Ah, uh, this 10mm. We got lucky. So, we don't really need that either. One of these cat's eyes. You know what, some of this food, we have too much food. Patriot's cookbook. Psycho we don't need. Rebound we don't need. Tales of chivalry we really don't need. Yep, that's about it. Thanks for making me rich. Who are you? Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. Okay, didn't mean anything, mate. We'll just see about that. You come any closer and I'm liable to stick you with my sticking knife. Old stick is feeling mighty ornery this day. Uh, I'm wearing bulletproof armor. You're gonna lose. We can talk from this distance, though. You sure now? It's kind of hard to hear you. Oh, I'll just... Speak louder. And you said you'd stab me. Okay, okay. Just speak up a little. But not so much that they hear you. They got people everywhere, always listening. Why do they call you No Bark? Cause they know I ain't just barking here. What I say is God bite, cause it's the truth. Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rad scorpion stings that done pierced my skull, and I know what I seen. All right. Do you know anything about the abduction of Boone's wife? Seen it all. Seen shadowy folk come to his room and leave again in the middle of the night. Thought one might have gone in the lobby too for a spell. Could be that person went in to get something. Or used the John, maybe. Mighty interesting either way, you asked me. I thought it was cannibals, come to eat us all for sure. So I kept out of sight. But now I know better. Who was it? More rat men come up from the underneath to steal young women with promises of riches and fancy mud mansions with all the latest designer appliances. 
They covered our lady folks' long hair for wigs, it said, being either bald or balding themselves. Okay, then. So... What's been going on? There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Yeah, I've been heard of that. Seems every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural death. And always there's holes all over the body. Work of the chupacabra, the livestock vampire, says Nobark. But they don't pay no mind. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Well, says Nobark, we got a chupacabra with an automatic weapon. And that's when they get real quiet, because now they see the predicament we're in. Yes, yes they do. What else do you know about the deaths at the corral, possibly non-chupacabra related? I come face to face with the chupacabra himself one night, whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. He was the meanest, ugliest chupacabra you could imagine. Had two heads and fangs down to the ground. Best I could tell, anyways, since when he come up to me, he was invisible. Had himself a blunderbuss, what would rotate and shoot bullets real fast out of a backpack. Never seen nothing like it. That's Walked a minigun. Right past me having an argument with somebody. But I only saw one chupacabra, so I guess the other fella had to be invisible too. Only more invisible than the other one. Anything else happening? Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Sensationalist hooey, cooked up by superstitious yokels, seeing phantoms of their own imagining. What's actually happening then? Ghosts. Kami ghosts, who don't know they're dead. Hoping to steal our rockets, so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. I seen one of them disappear and reappear before my very eyes. Although that was the being a scientist, I have to admit I might have just blinked for longer than usual, what with the shock of seeing a commie ghost and so forth. All right, Nobark, it was lovely speaking to you. If anyone asks, we never spoke. So, okay, you heard that, Eddie? Let's go check out this corral, and at night let's sneak into the lobby. See if we can... Uh, investigate what's going on in here, judged from the rumour of a slightly insane old man. Yep, nothing wrong with that at all. Christ on a bike, what am I doing with my life? Well, this is the house of the lady who owns the hotel. So they went into the lobby, there might be clues in here. The fridge is locked, that's a good sign. She keeps her money in the fridge. Okay, what have I got better at? Lock picking. Science in. A little bit of repair. Sneaking, I guess. And, you know, shooting things. Can never be too good at shooting things. Yep, yeah, there's fuck all clues in here. Apart from the fact that she needs some new wallpaper. It would look nice if I spruced it up a bit. Ranch. Okay, we're looking for a ranch. Ranch. Oh, hi. I'm looking for a ranch. You need to clean up here. You know, just a bit. There is a lot of paper on your floor. Not that it doesn't look nice, it's just an awful lot of paper. Oh well. That's not a ranch. Oh. I think we found a ranch. It's the one with the cows in it. The dead cows. Whoop. Yep. Ah, uh, sod it. I'm too unfit to jump over a fence. That's just embarrassing.
Look who's here. You've never met me. What brings you here? Uh, I'm asking about Boone's wife. Boone. That's that sniper fella. Works in the dinosaur, right? I only met them but once or twice. They seemed real happy together. I really ought to get to know them better. They're probably nice folk. Well, his wife's dead, so that puts a damper on that plan. Have you met Nobark? I'm not sure who started it. it. Wasn't a very nice name, but he took to calling himself by it, so we all had to. I don't even remember what his real name is. Anyway, I think it comes from that expression that people say when you're crazy, that not all of your dogs are barking. Poor Nobark. Yeah, he's got no barks at all. What do you think of the people who live in town? Oh, we keep to ourselves for the most part. Try not to pry. I think Jeannie Mae gets bothered that we aren't more sociable. But it's just our way. Ain't that we don't appreciate what she's done, managing this town like she has. But I worry she feels that way anyhow. Not that there ain't others who pry around here. That no bark was skulking around our yard last week. <laughs> I thought he was our cow killer. Was about to lash him with our bullwhip till I saw who it was. He's harmless, though. Part he of me wishes to stop I could me. see things like he sees them. All full of mystery. All full of fucking stab wounds. Anyway, I just wanted to meet you. Oh. Well, I'm Alice. And that handsome stranger yonder is my husband, Dusty. Going on 50 years now. I keep waiting for him to leave me for some young thing with platinum blonde hair and hoop earrings. But he still sticks around. Says it's my cooking. I think it's because I know which Brahmin utter you can milk without getting kicked in the noggin. So you lived here a long time? We set up this ranch years back when Novak was just getting settled. But now, with all the danger on I-15, folks are starting to come through here from all over. Novak might just be the next Nevada boomtown. What, with its hoard of resources consisting entirely of junk? Nice of you to visit. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Hello, uh, Dusty. Things treating you all right? Yeah, not too bad. Got threatened to be stabbed by a hobo. What can you tell me about Boone's wife? Well, to be honest with you, I don't really know them two as well as I might. I remember she had an edge about her, like she'd rather be someplace else. This kind of life ain't for everyone, that's for darn sure. So, what do you do here, Novak? Oh, I tend to my ranch, that's about it. Alice will tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. All right, so I don't think they're the murderers. What's this about Losing livestock don't describe it. It's a massacre. A few more days and there won't be nothing left to lose. Tell me what you know about it. Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. I'll see if I can help you. We'd be grateful. Especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over it. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. Did you go look at the attacker? Beg your pardon, mister, but them two-headed beeves ain't worth getting shot over. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. From the west? Okay, see it. Alright, Eddie, you know what that means? Oh, fuck, another dinosaur. This town has a dinosaur fetish. Okay, you know what that means, Eddie? Some midnight camping. So this is west. And get your cards. We're gonna be waiting a while. Can you see anything? Nah. No. Ah, screw it. Let's eat something while we wait. Mmm, cram. 
You never know what's in it. No, I'm still thirsty. I'll have two. So, this is the place. Um, is that an invisible man? Eddie, use your senses. H Hello? Hello? Excuse me, sir? Okay, he's not... Oh! Fuck it, get ready to shoot him. Eddie? Eddie? Shoot him! Shoot him! Jesus, bit slow with the old laser there, buddy. We just killed an ogre. The screams of Bram. Oh my god, he has a minigun. Let's play with the minigun first. Ah, it's almost bust, but I've always wanted to do this. What shall we shoot? This tree looks an inviting target. Say hello to my little friend. That was it. That's all the ammo already expended. Meh. Well, at least he didn't kill the cow. Oh yeah, we can't get over that. Dusty, Alice, you are Brahmin troubles assault. Find anything? No one's going to attack your corral from now well, on. Well, I don't know how you've done it, but I do know how I can thank you. Please take this, compliments of Alice and myself. And help yourself to anything in that freezer over yonder. We got more steaks in there than we'd be able to eat in a year. Nice. 75 caps and free steaks. It's certainly a lot better than an omelette recipe. Okay, next on our list, we go undercover. We check out what's going on inside the hotel lobby. Quietly, Eddie. Wow, she didn't even lock it or anything. Do 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 bill of sale. <clears throat> Hang on. We have read all these already. Ugh, I hate it when there's notes that I've read but they've not Screams of Brahma first. Most of what is recorded here is an incomprehensible psychotic gibberish gibberish. It seems to be express a general frustration towards a set of Brahmin who are allegedly keeping the author awake at night by screaming inside his head whenever he closes his eyes. Okay, that's fucking mental. Bill of Sale. We representatives of a consul officiorum have this day bargained and purchased from G. E. May Crawford of the township of Novak the exclusive rights to ownership and sale of the slave Carla Boone for the sum of 1,000 caps, and for those of her unborn child, for the sum of 500 bottle caps. Receipt whereof is hereby acknowledged we want to sale of a slave, and her young to be sound, healthy, and slave for life. We covenant with the said Jeannie May Crawford that we have the full power to bargain and sell slave, and her offspring payment in the full 500 bottle caps will be due painting on successful maturation of the fetus, the claim to which shall be guaranteed by possession of this document. M. Scribionius Libo Drusus et al. Administrators of M. Licinius Crassus Consul Officorum Ab Familatus. Fuck, she sold it to the Legion. Let's steal all her shit. Right, Eddie? We have a lady to kill.
well, not as personally, we just have a lady to put on a hat and let Boone deal with them. 